and we got action. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Truck RD, Truck a Real Deal. How's everybody doing today? Today is um, what is today? Sunday, March the twentieth. I'm just making this video on my way to go handle some business and go grab a bite to eat. But I'm handle making this video because um, something has been brought to my attention. I've been doing like a lot of watching of a lot of stuff lately. And it's probably isn't new to some people, especially some people that seasoned in the game and whatnot. But if you're not seasoned in the game, take heed to this video and tell other people this, pass the message on. Whether whether you, you know, decide to possibly share this video or tell someone to watch it. Um, pass this information on. What needs to be passed on is something very simple. Trucking is not what you think it is. That's a lot of businesses right now. That's a lot of things right now. Um, trucking, um, I mean, hell, even the the car game. You know, a lot of people got this money and these loans and whatnot. And they put the money back into the economy like it was intended to be. But with a lot of money, people buy more stuff. And if you understand the basics of, you know, economics, supply and demand, What's essentially happened in the trucking market, as you guys can all see now. I mean, the Russia shit, we'll get into that in another video about fuel. But if you ask me, this is all about supply and demand. Supply runs low, but demand is high. Hence why you have trucks now that were before this market changed. And I was looking at my um, truck paper the other day. Hence why you have trucks that used to be $25,000 to $35,000 trucks, like Cascadia's and stuff. I would call it like I say probably about like in that price range you probably get like maybe four fifty to six hundred thousand miles on the truck but um yeah those trucks now are going for I just saw the other day like like seventy five thousand dollars like for uh, you know a 14 15 16 and outrageous prices I mean these prices are just through the roof I mean my classic as you guys know about the classics those are going for Peterbilt and Kenworth prices so the main point of this video, and this is the message that I want you guys to spread. And if you last this long in the video, which isn't that long, thank you. The message that needs to be spread is stop. Stop. Stop believing what these YouTubers, and I, this is no, no diss to anybody. Everybody knows I'm real. I don't, I don't throw, I'm not throwing shade, but I see this with YouTube. I see this with um, Instagram, TikTok. Everybody they truck and hustling, they trapping, they truck trapping, and all kinds of shit, and they're making this money. But a lot of people don't realize that the market we're in right now is not typical. I mean, you still can get decent runs and decent rates when the market is normal. But a lot of people have gotten spoiled and do not understand what a true market consists of. And a lot of people are, you know, getting upset now, ready to fold. You know let things go because they've either you know overextended themselves with their living expenses or just gotten used to a, a lifestyle of a bunch of money every week and that's not really always the case you know these days that you're seeing right now isn't always typical so people might tell you oh I made this much money with my truck this week don't fall for all that because do you know how much their expenses were do you probably not you just know the smoke and mirrors. I made this, I made that. Do you know if they lease the equipment and how much it costs them to pay for that equipment? You know how much their insurance is? You know, this is a business like anything else. And people need to really stop being woe by what other YouTubers say, other people on Instagram say, people who are selling you guys these courses who don't really know anything about trucking at all. But you know, that's a whole other topic. But just please do yourself the favor and pass this on to a lot of people. Stop running to trucking and stop running to a lot of businesses. Take your time. There are so many free resources out here. Facebook groups, um, forums. Um, read the comment section on a lot of videos. A lot of times I watch videos, but I listen to and I read the comments. I get all kinds of different things passed through the comments. Talk to people. Know what you're getting yourself into before you jump in belly deep 
a nosedive and then you upset and you want to sit around and say you know trucking isn't shit um the car market isn't shit home remodeling isn't shit understand the market you're in understand what your you know profit you want understand that this is a business like anything else and just because somebody tells you what they're making it's your job to go and verify that for yourself you may not be able to verify their checks but you can verify realistic expenses that's like me telling you i make ten thousand dollars a week but don't tell you that i have a lease payment or I have other expenses and I have high ass insurance because I have a bunch of tickets and that 10 grand I made for the month and I got paid a percentage to a company or to this factory company and that percentage that I didn't tell you about now I didn't realistically only made maybe netted five to six grand for that month which I know company guys making that kind of money you know what I'm saying so that's about all I got to say for this video but just please 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 do your research stop believing what everybody's telling you because They'll sell you all these courses and all this shit, and they'll sell you their, you know, their starter kits and starter packs and tell you all this bullshit. Then you subscribe to them and, you know, spend money to be in their members only shit. And they're really taking your ass for a ride. So know this business and stop telling people to jump into trucks and jump into businesses they don't understand. Encourage them to get the correct people on their team as well as research it and know what they're truly getting themselves into. So I'll be making a video coming up soon about all y'all people out here crying about these fuel prices and stuff. But that's all I got to say for this one. Remember, friends don't let friends take bad advice. Each one reach one. I'm out.